let's say I have my first boot camp location and it's doing really, really good and I'm all excited, I want to start a second one. And I start the second one, starts off a little bit slower, but I'm not, I'm not too discouraged yet. And then the opportunity comes to get the third one. I get a third one right away, maybe a couple months later. Third one like takes off. And my first location, third location are doing really, really good. Second location, not so much. And I'm like, same offer, same low barrier offers, same, you know, everything. And for what I, no matter what I try in that second location, it just won't catch up to the other two. What do I do? Do I put more resources into that one or do I focus on the two that are oh, growing man. fast? That's a good question. And I'm going to take a quote from Stephen King. And he says, kill your darlings. So oftentimes if we're opening up businesses, we might be in a position where it's like, well, this is location one, that's location two, that's location three. They're all my babies, right? Mm -hmm. Like anyone who's ever opened up a business or is an entrepreneur, you know that. Like they're all your babies. But when you look at what Stephen King said about writing novels, and he says, kill your darlings. In other words, the adjectives that you don't need that are still going to get the point across mm -hmm. in the, when someone reads your book. And so if you got location one and three firing on all cylinders and your goal is just to make money and make a bigger impact, well, location two is hindering that. So kill that darling, go open up a second, second location, and maybe that is opened up in a better spot. I mean, you got five employees there that depend on you. They, you know, they have kids. They, you know, they're great people. They worked with you for over a year. What do you do with them? You know, I'm writing about that in my book right now. You do what's best for the business first. You always do what's best for the business first because if you don't, then the other two might suffer and now all three are going to tank and now you got 15 employees instead of just five suffering.